cities in England. Nottingham. We vowed not to stop telling you about cities in England. In this video, this time, it's the turn of the attention-grabbing city of Nottingham. We're discussing a county town and unitary authority area in Nottinghamshire. This city in East Midlands is located 180 kilometers northwest of London, 53 kilometers southeast of Sheffield, and 72 kilometers northeast of Birmingham. It has links to the global legend of Robin Hood and to the historical lace-making, bicycle and tobacco industries. In recent years, it's been constantly featured in the media for the wrong reasons, which are connected to poverty and deprivation. Even then, this city is recognised as a tourist destination in England with a relatively high visitor turnout. Nottingham Before Now The first credible historical account about Nottingham dates back to the 6th century when it was a minor settlement known as Snottingham or Snot Inger Ham, becoming what we call it today. Perhaps you know that word Ham in Anglo-Saxon meant village and the word Inger meant belonging to, while Snotter stood for man. From this, you can deduce the meaning of the ancient name of this city. The village owned by Snotter. Trust word corruption, the name gradually changed to Nottingham. There's evidence that a settlement existed here before the arrival of the Anglo-Saxons in the 7th century. During the Middle Ages. Early in the 11th century, William the Conqueror built a wooden castle which was rebuilt in the 12th century to guard Nottingham. The settlement later grew into a township. Later, after the Norman Conquest, its growth was rapid and a new area called the French Borough was created between the castle and the old town. But the old town continued to be known as the English Borough. By 1155, the King gave Nottingham a charter, a document granting townspeople certain rights during the Middle Ages. About this time, the Nottingham population was around 1,500 and by the 14th century it had reached 3,000. Nottingham had its mayor in 1284. It became a county corporate in 1449 and gained its first sheriff. Before and during Industrial Revolution The first grammar school was founded in Nottingham in 1513. Some 20 years later, Henry VIII closed the leper hostels and the friaries. Robert Smithson built Woolerton Hall in 1588. As was the case in entire England, traditional industries such as the manufacture of wool declined in Nottingham. These were replaced by others such as malt making and glass making, which were booming by the 17th century. Glass, which was rare in the Middle Ages, then became common. Of course, much of Nottingham's prosperity during the Industrial Revolution was founded on the textile industry. At some point, the city became an important international centre of lace manufacture. Nottingham's Culture Nottingham has a culture rooted in theatres and cinemas, museums and galleries, and music and entertainment. Let's tell you about them. Cinemas and Arts The famous Royal Centre in Nottingham encompasses two large capacity theatres, namely the Nottingham Playhouse and the Theatre Royal, and the neighbouring Royal Concert Hall. There are other smaller theatre venues also in the city, such as the Nottingham Arts Theatre, the Historical Lace Market Theatre and New Theatre, among others. Also in the city are Cineworld and a showcase, together with independent cinemas such as the Art House Broadway Cinema in Hockley and the four-screen Art Deco Savoy Cinema. Museums and Galleries In November 2018, National Video Game Museum was opened. It had been known as the National Video Game Arcade since 2015 when it was opened in the Hockley area of Nottingham. But in June 2018, an announcement was made that it would be relocated to Sheffield. It was said to be the first cultural centre for video games in the UK. Others among several notable museums and art galleries in the city are the National Justice Museum, where histories of law, crime and punishment through the ages are documented visually. There is also the Greens Windmill and Science Centre, the Nottingham Castle Museum, the Nottingham Contemporary, which was opened in 2009, New Art Exchange, which was opened in 2008, Nottingham Industrial Museum, which was housed in Woolerton Park, showcasing historical collections relating to textiles, communication, transport, mining and steam. Nottingham Natural History Museum, based at Woolerton Hall, with collections relating to botany, geology and zoology. Music 
The city has several large music and entertainment venues such as the Royal Concert Hall, Rock City, Nottingham Arena, the 2,500 capacity Nottingham Royal Concert Hall and Nottingham's City Ground. The classical music scene is active in the city with well-established ensembles such as Symphony Orchestra, Nottingham Harmonic Society, Bach Choir and Philharmonic Orchestra. Symphonic Wind Orchestra regularly entertains the city. Culinary Culture As of the last count, there are more than 300 restaurants in Nottingham. Many of them are AA Rosette winners. The Iberico World Tapas at the city centre was awarded a Bib Gourmand in the 2013 Michelin Guide. The other two Michelin-starred restaurants are Al Camilla, also in the city centre winning one star, and Restaurant Sat Bains with rooms near Clifton Bridge on the edge of the city with two Michelin stars. The People of Nottingham The residents and natives of Nottingham are called Nottinghamians. Among the notable people from Nottingham is Stella Rimmington, the first female head of MI5, the UK's counterintelligence security and part of its intelligence machinery working with the Secret Intelligence Service. Born in 1935 in the city, she schooled at Nottingham High School for girls. Another Nottinghamian is Thomas Sandby, architect, draftsman, watercolour artist and founder member of the Royal Academy. In the music scene, the city has produced illustrious sons and daughters from the 19th century up until the 21st century. One of such is Sheku Kane Mason, a young cellist who won the 2016 BBC Young Musician Award. The lad performed at the wedding of Prince Harry to Meghan on May 2018. The city was also home to the Nobel Prize winning economist Clive Granger, who studied and taught at the University of Nottingham. His contributions to non-linear time series analysis were remarkable. Also, Vyacheslav Belavkin, the mathematics professor and pioneer of quantum probability, was a member of the academic community at the University of Nottingham until his death in 2012. The 2021 estimated population is 332,500, according to the ONS's projection. However, based on the city's 2015 population estimate of 321,500 and the total area of 74.61 square kilometres, the city of Nottingham has a density of 4,073 per square kilometre. Out of the residents of the city, 65.4% are white British, 13.1% are Asian, 8.2% are West Indian origin, 6.1% are European or North Americans, 4.3% are Africans, while 1.6% and 1.1% are from the Middle East and South Central America, respectively. Crime rate in Nottingham Nottingham has been named the most dangerous major city in Nottinghamshire. Out of 236 towns, villages and cities in Nottinghamshire, it's among the top 20 most dangerous overall. The overall crime rate in the City of Nottingham in 2021, for example, was 114 crimes per 1,000 people, which is poor in comparison to Nottinghamshire's overall crime rate of 76 per 1,000 residents. It is 33% higher. It is also among the top five most dangerous major cities for England, Wales and Northern Ireland. For instance, in December 2021, the Nottingham crime rate was the worst for bicycle theft, with 52 of them stolen. Cost of living in Nottingham The cost of living in Nottingham depends on several factors. However, we found that it is in the top 32% of the world's most expensive cities. Viewed in totality, it averages £1,350, which is somewhat not bad given the average after-tax salary of £2,160.98. On average, a one-bedroom apartment in the city centre, for example, is £664.45, while it's £495.56 outside the city centre. Now, the average cost of a three-bedroom apartment in the centre is £1,201.87, while it's £824.56 outside the city centre. This should give an idea of the affordability of the cost of living in the city. Good and bad places in Nottingham like every city, there are very good and very bad places to live in Nottingham. The average earnings given above are boosted by good places like West Bridgeford and Beeston, Walton Hall and Park, Old Market Square, Stonebridge City Farm and the Adrenaline Jungle are a few examples of places people love to visit in this city. Try and avoid certain areas such as Radford, St Anne's and Forest Fields at night. Also Netherfield, Meadows, Hyson Green, Broxtow, Snyton, Top Valley,
Clifton and Bulwell, among others, are areas to avoid in this city. Villages and small towns such as Hucknall, Mansfield and Ilkeston are also not good places to visit. To be fair, we love Nottingham's culture and music and the people's resilience, but we dislike its poverty, deprivation and crime rates. What about you? What do you like or dislike about this city in the United Kingdom? Please let us know. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.